This is the Avantri Orbit Pro, a multifunctional Bluetooth transmitter receiver with an LCD screen and HDMI ARC bypass, perfect for watching TV. In this video, you will find these contents. Introducing the Avantri Orbit Pro. First, on top of the transmitter, there's an LCD screen. Here's the Search for Devices button, the Connect button, the Arrow button, and the Volume buttons. Next, let's look at the back of the transmitter. Here you can find the audio output ports, the audio input ports, the power mode switch, and the input switch. Lastly, there's the power port. The Orbit Pro also comes with an infrared remote, which you can use to adjust the volume from a distance. First, connect the Orbit Pro to a power source using the Type-C cable we provided. We recommend using a TV's USB power port so that it will automatically power on or off in tandem with your TV. Next, flip the power switch to the TX position. Then, connect it to your TV's audio ports. You can choose one of four different ways to do this. HDMI ARC, optical, 3.5 mm aux, and RCA. If your TV has an HDMI ARC out port, plug your HDMI cable into the transmitter's HDMI port in the input section. Then plug the other end into the TV's HDMI ARC port. Flip the input switch to the HDMI ARC position. If your TV has an optical out port, plug the provided optical audio cable into the transmitter's opt port in the input section. Then plug the other end into the TV's optical out port. Flip the input switch to the opt position. If your TV has a 3.5 mm aux port, plug the provided 3.5 mm aux audio cable into the transmitter's aux port in the input section. Then plug the other end into the TV's audio out ports. Flip the input switch to the aux position. If your TV has red and white audio out ports, plug the provided RCA adapter into the aux 3.5 mm audio cable. Then, plug the other end into the transmitter's aux in port in the input section, and plug the RCA adapter into the TV's audio out ports. Flip the input switch to the aux position. Now that your Orbit Pro is set up, all that's left is to connect your headphones. First, put your Bluetooth headphones into pairing mode. Next, press the Orbit Pro's Search for Devices button once to search for a device. Use the arrow buttons to select a device. Then press the Connect button once to connect to it. The connection status shown to the right of the device name and the connected text shown at the bottom of the LCD screen indicates a successful connection. If you're connected to your TV via the optical out or HDMI arc port and you find that the transmitter's input indicator is flashing, you'll need to configure your TV settings in order to receive audio. Go to the sound settings menu on your TV and make sure that your TV's audio output is set to optical out, HDMI arc, Once your first device is successfully connected, put your second pair of Bluetooth headphones into pairing mode. Please see your headphones user manual for more information regarding pairing mode. Next, press the Orbit Pro's Search for Devices button once to search for a device. Use the arrow buttons to select a device. Then press the Connect button once to connect to it. The connection status shown to the right of the second device name indicates the successful connection. Now you should be good to go. You typically do not need to repair your Bluetooth headphones with the Orbit Pro every time. Once successfully paired, they should automatically reconnect when both devices are turned on. If your device does not automatically reconnect after 5 to 10 seconds, you can press the connect button once to connect. If you have a soundbar or stereo AVR, you may connect it to the output port on your Orbit Pro. It'll work simultaneously with the headphones. First, slide the mode switch to either the TX or OFF position. Next, 
plug an additional optical or 3.5 mm aux cable into the correlating audio port in the transmitter's output section. Plug the other end into your external sound system. Then you're good to go. Please note that you must use the same connection type to pass through the external speaker and the TV. For example, if you use an OPT connection to connect the Orbit Pro to the TV, you must also use an OPT cable to connect the Orbit Pro to your speaker. First, slide mode switch to the RX position. Then connect your soundbar to the Orbit Pro's output section via the included aux or opt cables. Next, press the Search for Devices button once to enter pairing mode. Then go to your device's Bluetooth settings. Search for and select Avantri Orbit Pro to connect. Once connected, the connection status and the connected text will appear on the LCD screen. All Avantri products have a 24-month warranty when purchased directly from Avantri.com. If you purchase through other channels such as Amazon, you can extend the warranty to 24 months by registering on our official website. If you think this video is helpful, please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and click on the bell to stay notified on our new product launches. Thanks for watching.